All right, so we're still dealing with the time value of money. All right, we want to see how we can use the future value of simple interest, how we can apply it practically. And this can be used to find the maturity value of a loan. All right, for example, this company gets a loan of 15,000. All right, for three years at 10% simple interest. All right. In this question, we want to know how much with this company. First, we want to know the interest cost. Then we want to know how much this company is going to pay after these three years. Right. So the borrower, the person who gave this company this loan, all right, their maturity value is how much this company pays in total after the loan has has matured, it's reached its time. So it's a three years, so after three years, we want to see how much this company is going to pay in total and how much the borrower receives in total. Because remember, well, in these questions, you look at it in two sides, from the borrower's perspective and from the one who's giving out the, the one who's giving out the loans perspective and the one who's getting the loans perspective. All right, so, ABC Limited got a 15,000 loan for three years at 10% simple interest. What is the interest cost? Very simple. We remember this formula, right? This is interest equals principal times rate times time. In this question, our principal, right, is 15,000. The rate is in percent and the time is three years. Right, so I equals fifteen thousand multiplied by three multiplied by ten percent into decimal format is zero point one. Okay, so the interest cost so the interest cost is four thousand five hundred. B, the amount this company is going to pay, right? Basically, the future value. Right? So, future value equals present value. Present value can be the same as the principal, right? Future value is how much you're going to also receive at the end of the three years. So, we want to part here. So I would say fifteen thousand multiplied by one plus our interest rate is zero point one times time is three years, T is three. So zero point one times three, that's zero point three. Zero point one, zero point three, zero point three plus one is one point three. One point three times fifteen thousand, you get nineteen thousand five hundred. Yeah. So this company is going to pay this in total after three years, and the person who gave this company the loan, this is the maturity value of the loan which they gave out. 19,500.